not hungover, but tequila has a way of staying with you, eh? <laughs> so, hopping back into standard, we got a fun little mix here. Angels used to be a pretty big thing. Orzhov Angels between the uh, Retribution and, of course, Righteous Valkyrie, one of the best three drops Angels have ever seen, along with Life Gain. However, the uh, new set gave us a little bit of extra toys to play with, too, so you know what? Let's just hop right in. We got Gyada, Font of Hope. I don't care if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> pretty efficient little grizzly bear. Uh, flying vigilant to each other angel you control. Enters the battlefield with additional plus one, plus one counter for each angel you already control. Interestingly enough, I thought that was a standard... Um, I guess we'll call it uh, Afterlord, you know, one of the lords who doesn't do anything to things in play, but everything that comes into play afterwards gets a counter, Thalia's lieutenant, metallic mimic, that kind of thing. But then I actually read it for each angel you already control. It's pretty sweet, actually. We can go a little wider, get a little bigger, and it's a nice little spin on that. And then, of course, a little bit outside of white's color pole, or excuse me, color pie is, adds white mana. So we get a grizzly bear that is a lord of sorts, an afterlord. And ramp, in addition to being flying and vigilance, fabulous fabulous the reason for the season right here baby outside of that nothing really too new we got a single elspeth resplendent which is interesting uh it beefs creatures it gives them flying first strike lifelink or vigilance then a plus one plus one counter the minus three is nice because it either finds our righteous valkyrie it draws us a card with um, inspiring overseer or hopefully we can find Linvala shield of seagate a very very powerful angel unfortunately i didn't see any angelic rogues running around because you know we got wizard we got cleric we got, where is it, Warrior, if we had a rogue, we could have full party, baby, but, you know, angelic rogues, I guess, don't really frequent this plane. Anywho, uh, aside from that, everything you've seen, Leasa, Legion Angel, Inspiring Overseer is a new one, just a very efficient little critter, 2-1 flyer, gain a life, draw a card for three, hey, does its job. Really goes well with Elspeth in addition to just everything else. And then outside of that, I mean, since we're best of one, all we got to worry about in our sideboards, the other three Legion Angels to tag along with this bad boy. And then uh, since we are an Esper, we get access to Negate and Vanishing Verse. Um, I'm a little nervous about Vanishing Verse because of the new Conniver out there that everybody's loving. The uh, Esper one, which I'm sure I'll visit at one point. I already forgot his name. You know, it's uh, Mythic. Hold on. Hold on. Rafine, Scheming Seer. That one is a big one. And that one's definitely going to be something we're messing around with too. Not today, of course, but... That's why I'm not really high on Vanishing Verse at the moment between Obnixilis and just all the gold things in the set. But you know what? It's one of the best removal spells we have. We might as well test it out. And uh, uh, yeah, ah, that's the deck. There's not really much to it. I say we just go ahead and hop right in. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else I forgot. I mean, these cards are incredibly powerful. You know, uh, the Retribution's fabulous. Uh, Fading Hope is kind of on the down right now. So the token hopefully will stick around. And then if it just goes off... We don't have, it doesn't get stopped unabated, then boom, that just ends the game a lot of the time. But aside from that, we're playing the value game, and we're trying to fly through for the win. So let's go ahead and hop into that first one and see how it goes. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm, a little awkward. A little awkward. The secluded courtyards are mostly here for the splash, but... Uh, oof, a little awkward. So we're not going to be casting this anytime soon with this mana base. We got double youthful Valkyrie, and that's about it. Uh, we'll try it. I'm on the draw. Could be bad. <laughs> okay, we get it. Youth Team youthful Valkyrie is where we're going here. Oh, a mirror match. Really? Shoot a nice angel. Oh, he did a little better than I did. Yep. No point in attacking, I imagine. Let's keep it up. Then we're just going to pass. We're not attacking either. That's just going to be Team Youthful Valkyrie until we can do something else. It's debatable. Hold up the... Jeez. Gotta love mirror matches, baby. Especially when you got the keys. Play the Snarl. No attacks here. Next turn is going to be pretty sweet. Next turn we'll get a big one in. But we'll see what they've got. See if they can gain the amount of life they need to. Okay. Should I do double Valkyrie next turn? Or, ooh. He's got the Aspirant. This is going to be a beating. 5-7. Do we kill it? No, we don't. So it doesn't matter. We can't anyways. Play the Retribution. We gain 8 life. Everybody gets huge. 
or we pay play the am I gonna need the negate for any reason that I can think of let's go with the retribution we gotta start mowing down his board so five seven six eight eight ten we can attack with the eight ten five six seven eight yeah let's do it five six seven eight nine ten he'd have to block with everything let's get in we gotta stay ahead on this life gain or on the uh, life train because if we don't well well you know what happens the righteous valkyrie only really do their thing yep so six seven not bigger than my bad boy bring it fool oof this is gonna be brutal All right, so we're going to go ahead and... So now they all have the ability to tap. Destroy target creature with power less than this creature's power. So right now we've got... I'm going to go ahead and let's get in for an attack. Try to slow this down. Let's see what they do. Because whoever blocks here, we can then tap to destroy something else afterwards, but... Dead, dead, dead. Sure. Hmm. Let's go Youthful Valkyrie. Is there any reason to heap up this negate? Is there any reason not to is the better question. Keep it up. I'm trying to think of what my opponent could do that would be really scary. That's not it. Whatever it is, I'll hold up the negate. Could be good, could be bad, could be something. Aggro mauling. Nah. Not today, sir. Not today. That's right, baby. Esper, be in the mirror. <laughs> oh, that's right. The season reset. I was like, gold? I just not even paying attention. <laughs> Shadow Prophet X. Hmm, sure, this seems reasonable. Righteous Valkyrie, oh yeah, sure, totally. Desert Beach, into Pathway, into Courtyard. All right, sweet. It's like, as long as it's not a mirror match, I'll be happy. Got it all nice and sorted. All right. Oh boy, this matchup. Gonna be interesting. Kind of depends on how much he's got versus how much we can counter smash. God, I still love this level. This is still like the best level, but I love Celtic stuff. Celtic music, especially. I'm trying to figure out what did this deck. I've seen this, of course, you know, we all know this list by now, and here we go. Yep. I'm trying to think of what else it got. Nope. Like, I'm not blocking, so at this point, the best thing we can do is just keep pumping out as many things as we can as quickly as we can. So the second right, oof, oof. <sighs> no blocks here, kind sir. This is gonna suck, but we'll see. Um, hmm. Now we got to keep up with this. We're gonna go with the righteous Valkyrie. Try to keep ahead of this. Enters tapped. Bro. <sighs> We got a long ways to go. Linvala will help. Legion Angel will help. I don't mind losing when this. Oh no! Showdown at the Skulls. Oh. What do we got? Oh, why did I decide to play a deck with no removal? Vanishing Verse, where you at, bro? I need you. It's like the one thing you're good at stopping this crud from happening. Here he comes. No blocks here, kind sir. Who's the biggest butt we got? All right, Sanctum's not bad. It does allow us to play a three drop. It does allow us to play Linvala and maintain everything else. Or... Hmm. I'm debating between the Overseer and the Linvala. Let's 
this past turn. Oh, we're going to try to kill this Kami. Even though it goes right back to his hand, at least it'll reset it. If he goes for the second haunting, we got to counter it. Two, four, eight. Yeah, might have been a dumb idea now that I think about it. But that's life. Sometimes you just do dumb things. Yeah, I forgot. I was thinking about just the enchantments. I forgot about the showdown of the scolds. Yep. Luckily, the Linvala is going to hold priority on everything, so maybe he thinks I have, like, something like Vanishing Verse. I don't know. Rune of Speed, you say. Okay. Naturalist. Oof. Oof. Man, this matchup's a beating. Need to find Vanishing Verse. Yep. <sighs> See what he goes for here. We're going to say no to that just to do something here. That's all fine. 8-8, eight, 4-8. Eight, eight. We have enough still. But one more and we do not. Yeah, this is just out of hand. We are probably dead here, unless something crazy happens. We needed to find uh, our big scary angel or something. Because otherwise, we did. Should I scoop it up? Nah. I should probably scoop it up in all honesty. 10-10. Yeah, it's probably safe to scoop up. Yeah, probably safe to scoop up here. He's just beating it off, so... Peace! We get it! We get it! We get it! <laughs> we get it! <laughs> Good to know runes is still as annoying as it ever was. Oh, yet again, one of those hands that's like... Well, this hand doesn't... Nah, we're gonna mulligan this one. <laughs> I mean, we're going to keep. We're going to put back a Retribution. And then we're going to go extraordinarily slow. I should have probably led with a uh, a Beach or a Sanctum, because that way if I drew a basic land, I could put this untapped. But that's okay. I wasn't going to anyways. So now we got a Font of Hope into Valkyrie. Oh, lordy. I should have had the advantage here, but I didn't. Well, the good news is, at least so, it's going to pop out here. Let's see what he's got for me. Youthful Valkyrie, that's a good one. The next turn, we go Youthful into Shield. Then set up for the Retribution. Unless he's got the Retribution. He doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's like, yeah, mine's better. So you don't gotta rub it in, bro. Alright. Mirror match day, that's what it is. So we can go Valkyrie into Retribution. We can go Linvala into or Valkyrie into Linvala. I think we gotta go Valkyrie into Retribution. Try to set that up here. Yes. Nope. Then we'll get Linvala out and we'll start doing stuff. Let me say this. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, ugh. turn that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. That creature and opponent controls would die. Exile it instead. Got it. Okay, nothing going on here. Alright, so do we just start mowing down his board? Kill, kill. Let's see. Let's, first, let's make a Linvala. So, let's see here. First thing we have to kill is the Lisa. 
No point in attacking with anything else. Is there a point with attacking with the angel, or should we just go tap? Kill. Okay, so he's got a 7-7 out of this deal, which means he's going to get to kill something. I'm just going to have to just flying a lifelink. Should kill the Val... Or the... You know what? Let's just kill everything. Yeah. Just wipe his board. And then we'll just hold up Linbala. Uh... Yeah, it's all for me. Well, we'll go for the double strike kill next turn and see if he can handle it. The Linvala will just sit back and keep track. If he tries to tap to kill something, the only thing we really kill about is Lisa. And if we do it, if we do this correctly, he taps to do it. In response, we sack Linvala. Linvala goes back to our hand, and he goes for another Retribution. You got it. That's a good one, too. Who's he going for? GG, mofo! Uh, ba -ba. Two mirror matches and rune so far. This is just going to be a fun day. Almost foggy. Waka waka. <sighs> Where's this hand on the... I mean, it's not amazing, but I'd rather have this one on the, uh, on the play than the last one. Yeah, we'll do it. See what happens. Interesting. I haven't seen that bad boy in a while. Milled. Got me. Hmm. Well, we got two of them. Say Angel. So if it gets, uh. Oh, what's my jiggered? Jawari disrupted. You got me, man! Mono blue, huh? This is gonna be annoying. <laughs> oh boy, I spoke too soon. Mono blue mill? Yeah, this is gonna be very annoying. Now that my curve's all off, I'll probably just go Inspiring Overseer. Yep. Oh, joy. Mono Blue Mill. Oh, no. Okay. At least it's Is It. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, well. I guess here we'll just go with, uh, let's see. If I go the three drop or the two drop into, hopefully, two drop, three drop. Jeez, this is a little tougher. So we draw a land, then we can do two drop, three drop in the next turn. I think we have to set up the Font of Hope before we hope to do anything else. How many cards are in my graveyard? Okay, so the Wind Robber is going to start holding priority. Which means trying to plan around something like Fading Hope isn't going to work anymore. Like, uh, what's this do? This does nothing to my plan. Go. Cool. Waka waka. At least he's got nothing else going on. That's nice. Um, uh, that's kind of annoying. Cause now we have to have to want to hold this up. Well, oh, that was so dumb. I don't even have blue mana. Man, I'm terrible, terrible. I'm like, I'm trying to be clever here, and it's like, oh wait, you don't actually have blue mana, bro. Ugh, jeez. Oh yeah, yeah. I should start. I should have probably had an energy drink. That was so dumb. Got him. Sure. Yep. Blue mana. It's like I can play Linvala. Does not mean I have blue mana. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, that was so dumb. I mean, it got him to use a Cinderclasm, I guess. But man, we really need to hit blue mana. Otherwise, we about to die. We's about to die. What does this card do? It doesn't do anything just yet. I'm gonna put you over here. You're just mocking me now. Three cards left. Now, at least we know they're not. Uh, you know. Double spell into uh, hideous laughter, or else I'd, I'd be dead by now. I only got 30 cards, or 31 cards, though. Oh, game changer. Yes. Let's see how he feels about this. Surely he doesn't mind me drawing cards, gaining life, anything like that. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. 
What do you got for me? Demon Bolt. <sighs> I know what you're thinking, but I really need to maintain discipline. I'm thinking it too, don't worry. Linvala, Shield of Seagate. We're going to try to end this. Not now, of course. That would be way too easy. I could have, you know, if I wasn't retarded. But, unfortunately, I didn't see it. I thought this made blue mana for anything. That's fine, right? All right, he's at three. Here we go. So we've got Hexproof online. We've got a negate. If he goes for the Galvatic. Oh, he didn't get it. Man. It's funny because I normally hate Mill because everybody hates Mill. It's a very hateable deck. But, like, for some reason I don't hate Is It Mill, especially not as much as I hated Rogues. But maybe it's because they have a much higher tendency to fail, even though, you know. Ah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I mean... Yes, this is a keeper. Negate might not do anything till later, but that's okay. Hmm. Something different. I like it. Ooh, I really like it. Interesting. We've already got black. We're not going to need more than a single black, so we're just going to do this into Youth of Valkyrie. So first strike in Menace, and then it, since it's a treasure, it has for mana. Huh. Very interesting. So we can hold on to this for a little bit. Oh, you should have attacked. Why wouldn't you? Let's go right just Valkyrie. My dog just ran into the wall, if you're wondering what that noise was. <laughs> if you can even hear it. I was like, what, what is that? Thump. Poor pup. Don't worry, I didn't give him any tequila. I may have thought about it, though. Ooh, Junt. I played Junt yesterday. It was pretty awesome, actually. All right, here comes some kind of removal spell. So I imagine Vicious Valkyrie is not long for this world. Whoa. It's indestructible as long as it entered the battlefield this turn. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this is a new kind of jaunt. I like it. Hey, Elspeth. But we're going to go Legion Angel. Yep, 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 yep. If you hear little voices in the background, I apologize. Children can be like that, especially on the weekend. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic here. All right. Not feeling too terrible about what's going on right now, although this is interesting. 4-2 with haste, indestructible. I, you know what, now that I mentioned, I do think I saw that in the spoiler, but I didn't think much of it. I was thinking maybe draft. I'll have to see how it does. I mean, still, a 4-2-3 for three gets in for the damage or trades or something. I like it. I like this new style of, like, like Kaidu or uh, any of them where they do, they, they allow themselves to live more than a turn. They, like, they make it so that they're going to live for at least a turn. It's kind of like the, um, you know, Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Oh, boy. I have a feeling we're going to have a problem with Reach here. Plus one, plus one. Uh, no, no blocks here. We can go plus one, plus one, and gain lifelink, or we can just play the angel. I think we're just going to play the angel, or we're just going to play a lot of angels. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Math, not my strong suit. So we could go Legion Angel, or we could go Elspeth. We go Elspeth. Look at the top seven. We're probably going to hit something. What's the best thing we could hit? Another Righteous Valkyrie, but then the Elspeth dies. I think Legion Angel is just the better play here. Yeah, let's just get more, just get more air support. The real question is, do I play the Seat of the Empire or no? That one. I think we hold off. We're not going to need six mana. Is it going to make a difference? Four, eight, ten. No, he's, if he survives this. Yeah, he's got to take out my Air Force in order to do anything. So we're going to hold the land. You never know. I do understand that this could be something, but... Okay. A 
to four. What do you got for the Air Force? I'm at 17, man. Send your whole force. I'm good. Oh, no, don't get arrogant. He's going to be like, you thought you was good. You're not good. I'm trying to think of that one. Yeah, so plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, I really wanted to play the Elspeth, if only because it's awesome. Yep, I ain't blocking. I'm trying to think of anything that, that could actually be problematic here. Oh, Berserk. Team or Battle Rage. Obnixilis the Adversary. Nice. This is going to suck. But good thing I have lots of stuff to discard. Yep. And he can gain. He's going to gain four life this turn. Uh, sure. Actually. He's going to go to eight. He's going to go to ten. And then I'm going to kill him. So, sure. Uh, do I want to block? I don't. I don't care. So I'm gonna take eight here. Possibly ten. Sure. I mean, Omnixilis is awesome, but I don't think he's got it here. Sure. Pleasure doing business, Pleasure doing business with you too, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. <laughs> um. Yay! All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, I'm on the draw with this one. I'll play until turn three, but okay. I will try it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, we play against something super aggressive. Oh, it's Raxac. Well, in that case, now I'm excited. We got a removal spell, which is nice. Is this dies? Nice. Okay. Harvester. Got it. Should get rid of that right now. I know, it seems silly, but at the same time, there's not going to be a better chance. If we get rid of it now, it, it stops him from being able to uh, dispute. And then, um, I mean, it's, it's basically a draw three. We don't want him to have that, especially if he is going for... The rack sack he has to move. So in this case, we're just going to go with the Righteous Valkyrie. I have a feeling we're going to walk into a removal spell here, but we'll see. Hmm. He says, huh, let me hesitate. But then again, he has a blood token. If he were to play another Harvester or something else, but it looks like he's activating it. Looking for something. Yeah, Deadly Dispute on the uh, Unlucky Witness could have been... I, I mean, that's the worst case scenario with that. I mean, obviously, we're watching out for things like Awaken the Blood Avatar. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Yeah, which we're going to have to deal with probably next turn. The good news is... There is good news. Correct. I believe there is. Ooh. Yes. I'm going to attack... He may just block with the eye twitch. If he doesn't, it'll be a little telling. Because the Valkyrie, I imagine, is going to get sacked. Because the thing about the Avatar token is it's a 3-6. So we got to keep the 4-4 four, four around for the Retribution as much as the Righteous Valkyrie is the better creature. Oh, or not. Maybe I'm just giving him a pinch too much credit. <laughs> oh, Randor. <laughs> waka waka. We'll keep it. Retribution's looking a little weird here, but... Angels. I wonder what he's playing. He's playing angels. The angels are coming! Alright. The rematch. Can we do this? It's gonna be interesting. Oh, he's got the start. Here we go, baby. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't think we're gonna be negating anytime soon. Let's go with the Valkyrie. Yeah, next turn's just going to be Valkyrie into... into uh... Oh, boy. We might be able to... Might be able to outrace him here. If he doesn't draw another land... Come on, pass priority. Nope, he's got one. Dang it! <laughs> I always get my hopes up that, but I see the little thing slide across, meaning he's missing a land drop. No such luck, though. Rune of Might. Yeah, he's going for the... Uh... Oh, he's going for the life gain, which is 
a good plan. We could double block this commie of transients just to get rid of it, but I'm not going to. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. To do this properly is pretty good, but I don't have black mana. Okay. We need a black mana. We need black mana. Ugh, oh, cripes. Here we go. And haste. Sure. Sure. Oh, vanishing verse. Needed you, bro. Needed that black mana. This is going to hurt. A lot. Yeah, we get it, dude. We get it. Oh, so good at this game. That is my opponent. So good at this game. Double block the naturalist or just take a ton of pain. Looks like we're... <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Well, this is going to suck. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the room forge champion. Man, derpy. It's not big enough yet, but he's still got stuff to do, so... Okay. Or, or, or... Oh, it's such a fun deck, isn't it, folks? Okay, well, sure. Uh, well, I have to block something, don't I? Well, if I have to block something, I might as well kill something. Can't kill both of them. Okay, fabulous. Well, then. I guess we can, our best bet here is to add a blue, add a colorless, add a white. Mm, I should probably get in for two first, eh? Attack. Yep. Alright. Do this now. Blue, white, other. We need a black source. Close. Close. It's kind of like what I meant. Uh, yep. Not looking good for the home team. Hmm. Not looking good at all. I'm so good at this game. Why am I so good at this game? Yep. Oh, now I gotta resolve everything. Fabulous. Yep. I'm just so good at this game. I'm just so good at this game. I'm just so good at this game. So good at this game. Okay. Well, he didn't find it. So if he attacks with anything other than the Kami, we're, well, we're just going to take the Kami damage. Nope. Ow. I mean, what, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that one. All right, what do we got? Well, that's something. Something is better than nothing. Hmm. I think we can only afford to attack with the 2-2 two -two for this turn. I could play the Retribution, but then I'm dead. Yeah. Just get rid of that thing right now. Let's see if we can turn a corner here. I don't think we can, because I think I can only afford to attack with things with that Vigilance. All right, cool. <laughs> this is where we're at. Pack it away. <laughs> hmm. We just got to hope he has a literal nothing. I don't care about. That's pretty annoying, but that's okay. Sure. Bring it. Double block. Nope. All right. Let's keep it going, baby. This is how we win.
Okay, now with Linvala, we might be able to at least hold off for a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Seven or more enchantments. So, yeah, they're all going to be flying here in a second. Not that that bothers us too much. Another naturalist. Sure, resolve all. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Sure thing. We're at 10, but we can block a lot of things at the moment. Yep. This isn't getting old or anything. Yep. Again, we have big butts here on our side, which is nice. But that's all we got going for us. Let's see what he found. Uh, I guess I found uh, something else here. Oh, <laughs> another rune. Oh, man. Maybe this is the new rogues. Just the most frustrating thing you could ever imagine. Yeah, sure, dude. Oh, he drew something else he can play. Hey, keep it up, man. You're doing great. Oh, sure. Just rune into rune. Okay. Yep, yep. I don't care. I'm going to complain all day about this nonsense. Okay. Very cool. We're all very proud of you. All right, here it comes. Let's see what he thinks he can do, and let's see what we can do to stop it. Nothing. There's not much I can do. All my creatures have tap, destroy... Can't one, two, three, four, five, six. And this only plays angel spells, but we can't do anything about that. This would have been sweet. But unfortunately, so we can kill this, this. We have to kill things and we have to stay alive. I don't think I can afford to kill anything. We can kill the Runeforge champion with the Linvala. But then are we just dead to all these stupid tramplers? Yeah, we needed to hit we needed to hit an untapped land. If we could have hard cast the Samarius Carl, we would have been good, but I'm not sure we can here. I'm at ten. You know what? Eat it. 8, 12. Yeah, we can't. Not enough. Hmm. One more turn. I don't think we have it here. God. Forget it. It felt good. That's all I care about. Just smack him in his face. Man. Man. Oh, well. All right, overall, not the worst in the world. Five and two is our record. Two losses being to god-awful runes deck. Yeah, that one might just be a weak matchup, because unless we find the, the key, like a vanishing burst at a key moment, then there's not much we can do. Negate's not going to be pulling too much weight there unless we're already ahead. Otherwise, the deck seemed to do great. As much as the format's kind of shifting, people seemed ill-prepared to deal with flyers. A fleet of flyers is the greatest advantage this deck has going for it. And like I said, with... um. Fading Hope at an all-time low. Retribution's allowed to shine. If Retribution can shine, then we have ways to win. And to be fair, there's a... Mm, I was thinking about it, and I think... Did I not play a Snarl? I might have missed a land drop in that last game. Being able to play the Amirius Call might have been the difference between winning and losing that game. So that just shows how close we were. But at the same time, that, that deck was just nutty. It probably could have just... You know, he probably would have top decked to show that on the skulls or something insane like that. So, yeah, you gotta... Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do outside of sideboarding for that runes matchup because it is tough. But, hey, the rest of the deck seem pretty darn solid. I'm not sold on the snarls, but I understand why they're here. They kind of have to be. You saw how many times we had, like, Retribution or Vanishing Burst or even... I mean, not directly tied to the Snarl, but in the gate and not have the mana to actually do it. Whereas our mana to cast our angels is pretty perfect. So, yeah, seems fi fabulous. We didn't get to see Elspeth in action, but, you know, she's a good support player. You can always end up cutting her if you want something else, maybe for another Amirius call, but nah, I'll leave that up to you. Elspeth's pretty good. The fact that she can create a bunch of angels or just pull stuff out of your deck ain't the worst. So, yeah, I definitely would say if you're just in for something nice, easy, and airborne, this is your play. But that's all for me. I'll see everybody later.